You asked for it. You got it. The Moondog versus Moment Anamorphic Lens Test. This is the ultimate test to see which lens is better for your smartphone. That's coming up right here next. Boom, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy CNI. For this, I use the Hoya 6 stop IRND, the 7 2 thirds ND, the iPhone 7 Plus, the Moment Photo Case, and the Carrizo Cinemount Mark II. This is the Moondog versus Moment anamorphic lens test. Let's get right into it. So the first shots here were uh, all done in Napa Valley. This is the Moondog. Everything is labeled here so you can see which lens is which. I did some very light color correction and some very light color grading. I'm using obviously the iPhone 7 Plus here. Um, this will be the last footage that I upload utilizing the 7 Plus. I just traded it in to get my brand new iPhone XS Max. So all of my future footage that I will be uploading will be utilizing that with my Polar Pro ND filter and the Cinema Expansion Kit. So the first shots here are all done in uh, Filmic Pro with the natural setting. I rolled off the shadows about negative 10. Um, my personal opinion so far is I think that I like the coating a little better on the Moondog, but the sunspots and the vignetting caused by the Cinema, the Cinemount Mark II are almost unforgettable. Giveable, it's very difficult to see how I could use that footage, whereas the moment is just kind of seamless, full frame. Uh, I don't care for the, the lens coating. I don't care for the flares so much, but, you know, with the vignetting and, and how far away the lens is when you utilize the, uh, the Cinema Mount Mark II, it, 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 it can be very difficult to get a really usable shot. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm torn between the two, to be honest. Again, I, I love the, the easy usage of the moment, but I do feel like the Moondog produces a much better looking picture if you can get everything aligned correctly. Right, so uh, I, I'm using the seven and two thirds filter here. I think on this particular shot, I'm using the six stop, the IRND Hoya six stop. And you can kind of tell the sun is a little bit brighter in these particular shots. I actually kind of prefer this. So uh, the way that this particular footage came out was a little bit um, underexposed, or excuse me, a little bit overexposed, okay? So the sun was shining just a bit brighter than it would be uh, on a properly exposed shot, but I just feel, and this might just be the case with the iPhone 7 Plus, perhaps the 8 Plus as well, uh, I find that with a little bit of an overexposed shot, I can get some still really good usable footage. And I'm really interested to see if that's also going to be the case with the Max XS. Um, like I said, I will be uploading some test footage that I'll be shooting from that. I do not have my moment uh, case for the XS Max yet. I did pre-order it, so hopefully it'll be in the mail here in a couple weeks, and I will absolutely upload the uh, anamorphic footage on that. But the dynamic range that I've seen so far on it is amazing. Anyway, that's about going to do it for us here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my shootout between the Moondog and the Moment. Leave your comments in the comment section below. If this is your first time here, Please be sure to subscribe and click that bell for the notifications. And I will see you guys next time here on Wrap Ups.
and celebrate life All day and all night All day, all night I just party, party for my loved one of ones And celebrate, ce ce celebrate life All day, all day and all night All, all, all day, all, all day and all night